Hi, I'm Bobby from Schiller Bikes. I'm going to show you how to quickly recable your water bike. Here's everything I need to basically recable the bike a replacement set of cables, replacement housing, which I'm going to do today. It's not necessary every time. A three millimeter T handled Allen wrench. I've got a multi tool with a T25 torque, cable cutters, a tiny little pin. This is a 16th inch dowel pin, a little wooden dowel with a hole. I've got a rag and a flashlight. To start with, I'm going to take the flashlight. I've removed the seat post. This is a special flashlight, doesn't fall in. And I'm gonna illuminate the inside of the frame there. I'm gonna take a three millimeter T-handle wrench and make sure this is all straight. This is gonna lock up the steering in the front. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the cables. Now moving to the back, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cables. This is the steering cam. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. Cables might fall off. This is where I would clean and re-grease this area. This is a really important joint to keep clean and greased. I'm also gonna replace the housing. So these just come out very easily. Now we're gonna pull the cables out of the front of the bike. Taking your T25 and remove the four bolts in the front. Remember which ones had the washer on it. That's important. There's one cable. So each side is secured with two screws. The secondary screw with the washer is just insurance and it also traps the end of the cable so it's not dangling around. Okay. Cables are removed, the screws are removed, and the housing is removed. So I've got a cable and a housing. For those of you who need to clean and re-grease this, wipe it with a rag, re-grease this area. So I'll start with the left side back in place where the other one was and unwind your cable. Watch out not to get hit in the face. In this position, it's really hard to insert the barrels. So I'm gonna put them in like that and then turn the cam. And then at that point, I'm gonna take the other end of the cable and feed it through the barrel adjuster and up through the housing. And this might get hung up a little bit. You can pull the housing out, feed that through. And then you're always trying to be conscious not to get the cable on the ground and pick up dirt. So next, I need to feed the cable through this hole and out the pulley slot at the bottom. This is an easy one. It usually comes right through like so. Next, I'm gonna feed the cable from the top of the pulley slot to the bottom of the top pulley slot. I want the cable to come out here. And this is where you can kind of look up or down to help guide the cable. This is probably the trickiest part. Okay, it's fed through. Now we're going over the top of the pulley and out the front of the bike, like so. You're always making sure that the, pull, the cable stays in the pulley groove. We jumped ahead and I re-cabled the right side of the bike. Now, if you look down here, we've got both cables on the cam. I'm going to take the little pin and I'm going to insert it in this tiny little hole and turn the cam until it, it drives all the way inside. Now the cam will not turn and it's locked straight. So I'm gonna put this down a little bit. Always keep in mind that each cable, left or right, will always stay on its respective side. So a left cable will always stay on the left side of the bike, right cable through the right side of the bike on those pulleys. Along the way, I'm gonna double check like this. The cable has come off the pulley. You gotta make sure that these are in the groove. And let's check the back. So these are good. You want your cable housing to be seated in these adjusters. This one is not. It's hung up, get it lined up so it drops into the groove. This is where the flashlight really comes in handy because looking into the frame here, I can tell that these cables are crossed, okay? You always want the cable to stay on the right or left side of the bike. Okay, I'm gonna start with the right side cable. The right side cable is going to enter in the second groove, okay? And we're gonna wrap it around. I'm gonna take a screw that does not have a washer. I'm gonna screw it in halfway like so, and it'll actually kind of stay. Then I'm going to take the T25. It's not crushing the cable yet, it's just keeping it from falling out. Cause so now I can kind of wiggle it and it's not falling out. Now I'm gonna grab the wooden dowel. This is just gonna help us get a little bit of tension on the cable. I'm wrapping it around, Be careful of your eyes. You're gonna wanna wear eye protection during this. Okay, this gives me a way to pull on the cable. It's added tension to the right side. I'm checking all the pulley grooves that the cable is sitting properly. Now that it's pretty tight, I'm coming back to the screw and I'm gonna go ahead and snug that one down. Next, grab the cable cutters. You're gonna wanna cut the cable just past the next screw hole. 
Now I've grabbed another screw. This one has a washer. This is gonna go in the secondary hole, cover up the end of the cable, just give it a little extra grip so it doesn't come loose. So that side is done. Remove the cable off of the wooden dowel, wrap the cable around again. Left side of the bike, entering in the second groove from the top. Double check one more time that everything is in the proper groove, nothing's come out. Now I'm gonna grab a screw, no washer. First screw never has a washer. Screwed in a little ways. Kinda did this a little differently than the last one, but same concept. Now I can actually pull and then I'm gonna lock it down. There we go. Next, cut the cable right past the next screw hole. Always wash your eyes. Highly recommend eye protection. And then again, I'm just gonna cover up the end of the cable with a screw with the washer. And that is pretty much it. So you're gonna come to the back of the bike now and you're gonna just double check everything. Your housing is always gonna to wanna to do kind of a crisscross so that when it, when it folds up, it does a little pretzel. And this is pretty good tension. Almost touch the cables together. If you need more tension, they're really loose, you didn't get enough tension, then you can actually use what we call the barrel adjusters. These guys, you just unscrew them. I pull on the housing a little bit. It helps and that adds some tension. Now it's even tighter. Now using a pair of pliers, I'm gonna remove the pin. So now this pin will be free to turn. We're gonna remove the steering stop in the front. Go ahead, remove that, put your seat back in and that's it. Fresh set of cables.